All right, next question is from Shanae. I have about 50 more pounds to lose and I have fallen in love with IIFYM, which is if it fits your macros, and lifting. That's so cool to hear, Shanae. Thank you for sharing that. I want to be strong and muscular, but my husband insists that I am not doing enough cardio for my goals. I am afraid of losing my gains if I do as much cardio as he suggests. For cardio, I either run or swim as those tasks pertain to my line of work. How much cardio or running or swimming daily can I do without losing my gains? Thank you and love you for all that you do. You're awesome, Shanae. Tell your husband to get out. No, I'm totally just kidding, but you can tell him to just trust you and just ask for his support in you finding a workout plan that really resonates with you and that really makes you happy and that you know is right, that you know is not overdoing it. The epidemic of under eating and over cardioing <laughs> is what my whole life's work is about. <laughs> it's, why, it's why you're all here, it's why you all know who I am. It's because I am obsessed with getting that message out and trying to change the world <laughs> from the endless amounts of cardio, the 900 calorie diets, and it's just tearing our lives apart. And I don't care. You'll do it. If you wanna do it in 30 days, yeah, you're gonna go do some cardio and hardly eat. But if you truly care about your health and you wanna take the proper amount of time, the appropriate amount of time that it's gonna to take to keep your body optimized and to stay super healthy during it, it's gonna take you a whole hell of a lot longer than 30 days. So it's really, it's really the people that genuinely care about their health and their future that will take the time and the longer, harder road to lose that 50 pounds because it's so easy. And there's so many people, so many coaches, so many trainers that will take your money and get you there fast, but they're going to be gone in five years when you are so miserable and so unhealthy and your hormones are shot. Your metabolism is shot all the weight came back. You don't know how to get it back off except for just going back in another cardio roller coaster diet land. And you're going to live the rest of your life like that. And you're going to be miserable, miserable. Anyway, you already know this. That's why you're writing these because you know that he's wrong and you know that what's in your heart is right. And you know that you like listening to me and my message. So I'm just going to tell you what you already know. You don't have to do all the cardio okay i want you to lift your ass off you say you love it you say you love strength you say you love building muscle and lifting and working out so just go do that do you know that lifting weights and building muscle burns more calories than a stupid cardio session i wish people would get that through their head why do people think that cardio is like an immediate fat loss process like i process like i get on the step mill and i go for 45 minutes and I get off and I'm less fat. It doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. I don't care if you do it fasted, fed. It's not an immediate thing that happens. You don't get less fat when you walk off of a treadmill. The approach should be exactly the same. Go to the gym. I hardly do any cardio because my lifting sessions are so darn intense that I'm burning way more calories than I would be if I'm just cruising on my step mill for 45 minutes somebody shoot me, that sounds terrible. I would much rather go kill it in the gym and have shorter rest periods between sets, shorter rest periods between exercises, incorporate things like supersets and drop sets and giant sets and all that kind of fun, awesome stuff that's gonna just rev up your metabolism in the home edition, for example, the Jesse's Girls home edition, I have what's called interset cardio. That's where you are doing cardio in between exercises or during exercises, which means the exercise itself is weight, is strength training and cardio at the same time. Plyometrics, that's strength training and cardio at the same time. Hit training, that is muscle building and fat burning like no other, okay? So if you wanna add more cardio, and really lose those 50 pounds and not take 20 million years to do it. Rework your weight training to be a cardio plus weight training type of session. And not every single one of them has to be because I know that sometimes I really like to just go to the gym and just take my time and lift and feel 
all the muscles pumping <laughs> and I don't always want to do, you know, jumping jacks in between or box jumps or something. <laughs> you do not need to be a cardio warrior in order to lose that 50 pounds. I'm all about balance, so I would love to see you lifting weights four to five times a week, doing HIIT training, like pushing a sled up and down the turf, for example, or battle ropes or sprinting on an incline or up a hill, that kind of heart rate training, interval training once or twice a week. And then of course, there's nothing wrong with steady state cardio. Steady state cardio is just the monotonous walking on the treadmill for 45 minutes or so once or twice a week. And it doesn't have to be in a gym. I do steady state cardio, but I've got Sammy in the stroller and we walk up a giant hill and then go around the block a couple times and then walk back up the hill and come back down. And it takes 40 minutes and it's amazing. So it doesn't have to be that traditional weight lift a couple times a week and then do double days on the step mill. Blech.